Bonjour. 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 Um, what, do you, what do you think about the fact that Lacazette is in the squad? Have you prepared thinking that he wouldn't be included? The timing is, uh, is rather surprising for, for everyone involved. Uh, indeed, we didn't think uh, that he would be included uh, up until yesterday evening. They've uh, they've decided to, to, to reduce his uh, sanction from three to two games, and that's great for him. Um, now we're going to have to prepare with that in mind. Um, the first uh, the first thing that, that that was a bit strange was uh, changing the the first leg and the second leg. Um, this is now the second thing that happens that sort of changes things. So hopefully there won't there won't be any more surprises, and, and the referee will be great tomorrow. How does um, how does the first leg change the way you see today's game? It doesn't change that much. We're here with uh, with the with the ambition to score at least one goal, because if we just want to defend, then we're going to be in a lot of trouble. So so we're not we're not really thinking about the result. We're going to go and try and play and and, and show our strength on the pitch and try and create some problems for Arsenal, uh, which. Uh, obviously will, will be much stronger than they were uh, in the first leg so, so it's, uh, it's up to us to, to put ourselves in the best conditions in, in order to, to try and go and get a goal um, back to Lacazette does it really change a lot uh, tactically uh, thinking that they could go they could they could go to play with five at the back um, yes it does change a lot of things because with uh, with Alexandre Lacazette, they can they can play more formations, different formations, uh, including one the three five two with uh, with with the two strikers which they they played with United uh, this weekend. So obviously his presence changes uh, changes the the facts, but we've got we've got 24 hours to prepare ourselves. Um, are you the favourites uh, for this game? I don't really ask myself this question. It doesn't mean a lot to me. Um, at, the, at the last leg, they were giving us 14% chances to go through against uh, Real Betis in Sevilla. And, uh, and if we were taking that into account, we probably wouldn't have gone through. So we have to always be ambitious. Uh, we always have to show our strength and uh, our qualities and, uh, and obviously be, uh, you know, respect our opponents and because obviously Arsenal with such an experience and such a history uh, remains the favourite for, for this leg. But we've got, we've got a great team and we want to we wanna showcase these strengths and have no regrets at the end of the game. Um, we did see what happened yesterday with the game with the Atletico Madrid. They won 2-0 and, uh, and uh, they, 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 they had no choice but to, to suffer over 90 minutes. Um, so we're going to try and avoid this. Um, we know that it's going to be difficult because uh, at the Emirates it's always quite an intense game, but we are ambitious. Um, Unai Emery mentioned uh, the, the the fans' presence uh, at his press conference earlier. So, how does that the, affect you? We've, we'll have 6,000 people in in the stands as well. So, so we do count on this support as well. Um, the the players are still very much remembering what happened uh, at the last uh, last week, last Thursday. Um, with uh, lots of our fans there, but we, we know that a lot of our fans will be here as well, so they will be pushing us forward. And uh, I'm sure that the Arsenal supporters will be supporting their team a lot, but what I have in mind is, is my fans, and, uh, and I hope they'll be able to travel here safely. <laughs> Pour, pour 
Um, you say you want to you, you want to go there you you want to go out here and, and score and, and win yes uh, we want to go out and score we want to make the most of this game we know that they they tend to do great performances here Arsenal obviously at home um, since the start of 2018 they score they score a lot in the first 15 20 minutes as well so we know what to expect uh, we are preparing with that in mind and uh, and we'll try and encounter that are we going to be able to win i'm not sure i don't know but we do want to score at least a goal here um did you did you notify anyone that you thought that the timing uh was uh, the timing of the decision regarding lacazette was a bit uh, off no i've not i've not wanted to create a uh, any debate um, we, we weren't aware that they had uh, they had appealed the decision um, the red card I think had been given about a month ago so obviously it's a bit strange that you know it, com it, com it comes 48 hours before the game but you know that's the way it is and uh, you know we have to make do with it we've, we've got we've got no not, no time to waste uh, with the UEFA we're here to, to focus on our, on our game So you, you are you using a lot of uh, a lot of video to prepare yourselves? Yes, we, we yes we we are using uh, video a lot to prepare our game. Um, you know very well that when uh, when we do our last training session before before a game, uh, it's not the most productive one. So uh, video plays an important part in our preparation. A question for Benjamin. Um, how do you how do you see this game? Are you excited about it? <coughs> yes, we're we're very happy to 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 have played the the game we played in front of our fans in the first leg. Um, it was a great game, but uh, we want to give back to them and uh, and give more of it. So we know what what we need to do in order to do that. And. Uh, and uh, in order to play another game at home. Um, Rennes has, uh, has played uh, quite a, a few good games uh, since the start of the season, but does this, does this leg, can it change uh, the status of Rennes? We've, uh, we've not won anything yet. It's a historical night for the club, for the fans, for everyone, for the players as well. Uh, obviously, this creates some bonds between the team and, and you know, we need to, to build on that in order to continue to, to, to create the history of the club and, and take it even further. Um, you mentioned uh, refereeing uh, and, and uh, the game in Sevilla. Um, do you think uh, you need to be you need to be more composed uh, in this in this particular fixture? Yes, you you always need to, to, to be composed, uh, especially when you play uh, when you play away from home, and uh, and you need to be focused. It's uh, it's not really going to affect uh, our game. Um, it's been two games. Uh, in the last two games, you've played with uh, with one additional player on the pitch for at least uh, half of the uh, at least half of the game with one additional player. How does that affect uh, the game? Well, if uh, the opponent ended up with ten players, then it means there was a reason for it. So. So that, that's the reason why we had to play about two halves uh, with, uh, with an additional play on the pitch. What I, what I do think of is that we've, uh, we've really made the most of these, these events and it's not, always, it's not always the easiest thing to do to, to play uh, 11 against 10. It can be tricky. We've played, uh, we've played a few games lately whether that is in uh, in Sevilla or Marseille where we played uh, where the players played really well and, and there were no sending offs 
Um, you mentioned uh, you mentioned uh, Alexandre Lacazette being back. Now you've got Traoré and Nyong that are back. Um, how does that change the, your mindset? I mentioned uh, I have mentioned before that that we've got uh, we've got a good uh, a good team with uh, with a lot with a lot of players uh, a lot of quality players. But obviously, the more players I can have, the better that is for me. So we're very happy that they're they're back with the group. Um, you had to you had to make some choices for the for the left wing uh, or in the Sevilla game as well as uh, up front now. So, who, what, what do you what do you make of the decisions you have to make this this week? We had quite a lot of injured uh, players in uh, January and February. Uh, Jacob Johnson also had a, a little issue, uh, but uh, obviously uh, a coach is always happy when he's got to make choices because that means that um, he's got a lot of options on his hands, so it can only be positive, and uh, and that's what uh, what that's what we uh, that's how we see tomorrow's game. Thank you.